I log on, you know, to film film another clip as you do, and uh, none of my chests are like paired up anymore. None of my pumpkins are grown, and this just blew up. Like I promise you, I have literally no idea what the frick just. And the stairs aren't upside down. No, no, this, yeah, no, this makes complete sense. I obviously know exact. I promise you, I did not do this. So that was a whole mess that happened. And because of that, well, farms are broken. Um, farms are broken. Farms are broken. You know, farms are broken. So that's something we gotta fix. And then the cosmetics of everything are all screwed up to say the least and you know just generally everything in this area that broke is a mess uh i did last episode fix up the cactus farm and sort of the tree farm though you know um it's it's a mess visually so that's something we gotta fix just just a bunch of fixing has to happen, really, and I need to go to sleep, but after that, I think I'm gonna take a stab at the easiest thing out of all of these to fix, which is the potato farm, because I just gotta, like, make the rails actually connected once more, and then I think I'm gonna turn to the pumpkin farm, because I'm not entirely sure what broke about this, so I think that could be interesting also i just don't want to deal with dnt dupers at the moment so you know that's that's logic and i'm not gonna ramble on too much because that would that would kind of ruin the flow you know but yeah fixing stuff that's that's what this episode is about in case in case you couldn't gather so i have in fact fixed up the um Potato farm, you know, rehydrated the crops, fixed up the rails, uh, reconnected the things, fixed the hoppers, you know, everything that we need to do. Moving on from that, that, we are going to try and fix the pumpkin farm and undo all of my oh-so-hard work to make it look good. Not really. It really was not that much hard work, but, like, let me be dramatic. So, if we get rid of all of this here, just all of it, it's gonna take a minute. What? I am so confused. What the frick? I have forgotten how I made this in the first place. I- oh no! Redstone isn't gone, it's just everything else is facing the wrong way. So there wasn't any redstone there in the first place. It's just the problem is literally every other component is like wrong. So that's fun. Now I gotta fix this. So, you know, second time's a charm recording this clip. So basically, I'm gonna have to end up completely rebuilding this because I have to like get rid of all the pumpkins and like. Why are you law over here? Doesn't make any sense! Wait, was all of this shifted one block over? Was all of this shifted one block over? Not over here. Was it built like this over there? I don't remember, but like, it doesn't make any sense. None of this makes sense. Nothing makes sense. Woo. So, I don't know what, I forget the purpose of this clip. Going in anyways. Who's gonna stop me? The YouTube algorithm? I don't think so. Anyways, I need to sleep, but first, I've fixed up the pumpkin farm. It it's fixed. Everything's fine. It's it's great. It's 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 amazing, really. Um also I know why the whole thing like shifted this way. It's cause like with the way that like the observers So the pistons were facing this way and like the observers were facing so that they put a redstone output this way. So I broke um, something in front of the pistons and they acted in front of the observers and they activated the pistons so everything shifted one block this way. And that is why. 
So, I'm gonna sleep, and then... I... Th what are we gonna do? Amazing question. Okay, I have slept. So, now I think that we are just gonna fix up the cosmetics of this thing here, just because I don't know what else to do. So, break this, um, and break this, and how did I have this set up? It was like... That, I believe. Yeah, like that. So, we'll fix these. My leg just went freaking numb. Well, not numb, but you know, like the little pines and needles or whatever. My blood circulation is fricked. I was literally just, like, crossing my legs. Amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna do this. And then we shall probably actually have to do deal with TNT dupers. I know. Horrible day. But I want I want my farms back. So what's gonna happen? That's not how I wanted that to go. And so it's it's fixed. It looks it looks good now. You whip, whoop de doo, whoop de doo, whatever you, whatever you say. I don't know. Anyways, I've bought some more food and I repaired a couple of my tools. You know that's important. Um, now I'm gonna stick these in the composter because these two are already full of pumpkins. So we're just gonna do that. And now I guess. Are there any other farms that are broken that don't involve ENT shoopers? I just don't mm. want to deal with that right now. I really don't. Well, I guess. All right. Here is what is going to happen. We are going to fix up the cosmetics of this because it's it's a mess. Like. This is blown wide open. Gotta fill in this again. Um, gotta get water, get the water down here. You know, it's just, it's a mess. So we are going to fix said mess. Uh, if I can. All right, so what we need are some signs and my sponge again. Did I put my sponge in the storage system yet? I do not know. So, we're gonna go check! You know, sometimes I wonder if making a non-sorted storage system was a good idea, and then I remember that sorting systems take so much freaking effort. Then, after that, I remember that, like, oh wait, no, I can check the hoppers through here so it doesn't matter that some stuff can get stuck stuck in them. So we are going to fix, work on fixing up the tree farm, starting with, well, this brown area. I swear I know what I'm doing. The bottom bit here is now fixed up. So, you know, I've got the pattern back in. I got rid of the excess water down here. This no longer leaks over there, so, you know, we're just generally having a good time. Um, now we gotta deal with that bit up there, which, in order to do that, I'll need a lot more smooth stone. So, I have to, like, run the tree farm to get wood to burn to make the smooth stone. That's gonna happen, and then, you know, we're gonna start placing the smooth stone and like the bricks and like you know make it make it all good i am gonna need mm. some more green concrete though so i'll also need to run some cactus through with the thing and then we're also going to have a problem of uh, sand and gravel are annoying to get because I haven't found a desert biome yet because of course I haven't so yeah that's gonna be fun so yeah first up smooth stone the stone is now smelting away and then I also put some cactus in there to make the green dye and now I have come to the uh, realization 
that we have a problem with our current storage system and it's not the fact that stuff gets backed up in the hoppers or that there's actually no sorting system to it no i i can't open the the top chest I, there's a solid block there yeah so i've got to fix that which is exactly what's going to happen and then hopefully by then well we'll have enough stuff for fixing up the tree farm so it stops being quite as much of an eyesore in there all right yeah that's that's gonna happen and so i have fixed that problem so now i can open the i still can't open the top chest what oh because it's a double chest, so I need to fix that bit there as well. I see. So we do that. Right, this is gonna take a moment, isn't it? Oh, the water doesn't reach all the way down. That's inconvenient. Uh... Gotta fix that. Right, so let's get another water source block. Now we build up. Let's just stick it there, I guess. Nope, that that ruined everything. Um, how do I fix that? Like obviously I could drop it all down one, but that would look weird. So I guess I just kind of... Okay, wait, no, I have an idea. Um, so we put a sign there. And we put the water there. That should work. In theory, that works. No clue if it works in practice, though. So... I guess we'll find out at some point in the future. Not right now though, because I gotta go to sleep and then we will check on the smelting process. Because that's that's what got us started on this little tangent. So if we take a look here, we have about a stack of the smooth stone and about a couple of the uh green dye. So uh I guess let's just stick the wood back up. Let that go. And now let's turn our attention to, well, this. Also, do I have andesite? Yeah, I have the andesite on me. So we're going to turn a little bit of that into the walls to, you know, fix up the walls. Or pillars is what they're supposed to be. Alright, let's just start with that, and now... Reaper! Oh man. So, uh, I had a thought. The thought went away, but like, it was there. It's the, it's, it's the thought that counts. Uh, this is the wrong block. Alright. So, I guess I'll get to placing blocks. Fun times. I mean, yeah, fun times. Um, I play the game by choice. <laughs> so, quick progress update as far as building goes. Like, I've gotten a... Stuff has happened, you know? I figured out, like, where this line needs to go. I'm gonna fix up these stairs soon. Um, and I've collected a bit more green dye, so I'm gonna make the green concrete. Actually, you know what? No, I think I'm gonna fix the stairs and stuff first. And then I'm gonna make the green concrete. Also, I need to replace this. Uh, you know, I've got stuff to do steel, but I've, I've gotten the floor laid down. So if we hop down here, it doesn't look bad from the underside. So progress. So yet another progress update. I mean, like, what else would this section be? Um, I need to fix that. But 
other than that, I've fixed up the outline and everything. Obviously, it looks a bit weird where the actual TNT duper is. We're gonna have to work on that. But for now, all that's other than that, all that's left to do is well. I think it was this bit that was weird. We're assuming it was that bit. We do that. We pray everything looks good. All right. So other than the green, other than the um, what was I saying? Right. So um, other than the area around the TNT duper, I just need to fill in some of it with the green concrete, and we'll be good. At the moment, I have about a stack of green concrete. So I'm gonna see how far that gets me, probably won't be very far, but I'm gonna avoid having to gather sand for as long as possible. So, turns out I did in fact have enough, and now just like the problem of integrating this whole shbaggle into the build is really the primary problem. So I'm gonna keep working on that, and then, well, We've got to figure out this bit up here, but I'll show you what I figure out with this stuff first. All right, so I have gotten that whole thing figured out for now. Um, no idea if it has like impacted the functionality of the farm at all. Um, we'll find out later, I guess. And now we got to figure out what the frick we're going to do with this little area. Uh, cause at the moment it is, it is ugly, I do say so myself. So, I guess we just do this, and then let's do this, and then we can go here maybe, I'm not sure. So that's the general outline I'm gonna work with, and we'll see what becomes of that, I suppose. So, we will be right back. Okay, I gotta, I gotta put the wall there. But, other than that, it's done! Um, really, I don't, I don't know what else to say. We have finally fixed it all up. I think I'm gonna run the farm a bit, um, just to make sure we didn't break it in doing that. But, other than that, it is time to turn to the basalt and the cobblestone generator because those are really the okay those are the other two farms that are broken we still gotta fix up the villager hall area and then um we have a sheep pen over there that we gotta like redo and then we should probably make that look better because it just it just doesn't and then we also should work on putting a bit more stuff into our storage system. Yeah, that's that's that. Um so right, running the farm. Let's do that. And it is time for the moment of truth. Uh I'm I'm not looking. It worked. Frick yes. Alright. Uh, hello. I shall take all this, and we did not in fact break the farm, so now we can move on. So, First thing, I'm just gonna set up this scaffolding here, and then if we head down into this little underbelly, um... Right. It is, in fact, broken, like, but I guessed. Um, so that fixes all of that. This needs to be fixed. This is going the wrong way. Well, speaking of things facing the wrong way, jeez. All right. This, you, good sir, are facing the wrong way. Why? <laughs> 
I'm like, that's right, that's right, that's right. So, so great, it's probably a lot. So, that's fun. So, I'm gonna be able to, so, great. Right. You know what? Forget. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna check in the, uh, world that I test built this in to see how I had it set up, because obviously I do not remember, and I don't feel like problem solving and survival of all places. So... We switch in. I figured out what went wrong, and the thing is, there was, there's supposed to be a thingamajig here, and it wasn't here, so I was very confused. Woo! So, if, where the frick did my dirt go? So I'm gonna fill that back up, and then, uh, time to head to the TNT duper. Uh, fix this whole finagle that's happening here. Um, this is not fine, actually. That's fixing the right place. Isn't fixing the right way. Um, you sir, need to. That's where we go. All right, so like that. That's fixed up. I believe. Um, right. Oh wait. Okay. Um, why isn't this emitting a redstone signal? Oh, I had to do that. Right. Anyways, we need to make these reattach to each other. And then we have to actually fix the, uh, that's not what I'm on, um, to fix the actual, what you might call it, uh, TNT deeper, right. This. So, uh, sleep first. Is there a monster? Is there a spider in my pumpkin farm? No, there's not, no, there is not a spider in my pumpkin farm. There is a spider in my pumpkin farm. What the frick? All right, I'm gonna grab some torches, light that up, I guess. Um, actually, no, we're just gonna move my bed, go to sleep, fix that in the morning. All right, so now it is time to fix that problem. We've got to go grab some torches and then, well, uh, fix it. So, dear sir. Oh, oh, you're violent. You're violent. You're a violent monster. Where did it go? Hi. There. Now we just stick a torch or two in. That's not what I wanted to have happen. All right, stick the torches in and we just fill this back over and then we return our attention to the frickin call it. So, first thing first, we're switching that out for a different block. Frick, I didn't grab any different blocks. Right. That's just gonna be that for now. Um, fix that. Um, I guess I just update the general. Yeah, alright, cool. So I need a fence, a better block for that, and then I uh, need to rotate this for one thing. For the other thing, um, okay, cool, so this is a different setup. You know what, frick it, I'm changing this design to the one that I know how to complete. Frick. Alright, whatever. I need to fix those little guys down there anyways, because, you know, collection systems got to be completely and utterly broken. So, that'll be fun. I am going to fix up the little con collection system down here, and then we'll rebuild the TNT duper. And so, I've fixed the storage system. It, it all leads here now, and uh, I only accidentally exposed lava twice so i'm calling that a win now if we move on to the actual tnt duper which is what we're gonna do um that was not a very good segue anything at all actually right so we need coral tnt slime i think that's everything so i'm gonna Grab. I need walls. Where are the walls? Walls. Alright. So, like I said, 
we're gonna fix up the TNT duper. Hopefully this only takes one try. Um, I doubt it though. Oh yeah, also we need to, Rick, I need smooth stone and I need to move up those slabs and all right, I'm gonna do the thing. I just took a bunch of damage. Let's go. The TNT duper has in fact been built. So let's see if it works, I guess. Okay, so basalt is getting built up, right? I don't think it will work because this is glitched, right? That's not where I want you to go. Okay. Why isn't this powered? Okay. All right, it works. Uh, no clue what the frick happened there, but like it works, so that's fun. And now it is time to turn our attention to the cobblestone generator, which is gonna be a bit of a pain because I didn't design this. Like these ones, like I know why it works the way it does. This one, I have no clue. It's, it's, it's a mystery to me. I don't know what the frick the timings are. I know nothing. However, doesn't mean we don't gotta fix it. So, we are first gonna fill up the stairs with the water and then Okay, so we've got to fix the positioning of the stairs, fill them back up with water, and then turn our attention to the monstrosity that is whatever the frick is supposed to be going on up there. Alrighty! So, I have in fact fixed all the stairs, filled them up with water, uh, there was some extra water in the middle thing that I had to get rid of, but now it is time to try and figure out what the frick, like, this design was in the first place, because I, I do not know. So we're just going to take this, this um, incredibly broken piston, like it's impressed how messed up that was. So I guess for starters, let's grab TNT, coral, all that kind of stuff and go from there. Then I'll build up the TNT duper and then after that we will um try and figure out timings and stuff all right so we now have the tnt duper built in theory so now we have to figure out timings because um that's important first i think though before we do that i do want to make sure that like this actually works and that it's not I'm gonna like blow everything up because I'd hate to figure out like the timings and everything and then have it like not actually work. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. And then I figured out that my pumpkin farm broke again. So I decided to fix that and then I would like, you know, go back to the TNT duper. All right, I fixed the farm, you know, threw in another powered rail. Hopefully that fixes it. And now we are going to test this. Several attempts at powering it later. This right here, it's that, right? So. Let's do that instead. Hope that that works, I guess. And it did. So I then turned my attention to figuring out the timings. And so. I have successfully fixed the farm with only blowing everything up like twice. So this is not the way like it was set up when I first built it, you know, like it used like repeaters and like there was an observer in there, but I don't know how to replicate that. So this, this is what we've got. And moving on from that, I also fixed up the villager 
things. Um, you know, fix the stairs, all that kind of stuff, fix the trap doors. And then I have also fixed up the trap doors on the zombie. I was about to say zombie farm. It's it's an iron farm. But that is where we are going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, like, you know, comment, yada yada yada. See you guys next time. Thank you.